got the pro leg stretcher here from Amazon and I got this thing to help with my hip and leg flexibility and so check it out got the adjustable seats easy to adjust you can fold it down if you need to store it away somewhere it's got these two wheels right here See, the wheels slide fairly easily on the hardwood floor or on tile. It's not recommended to do it on carpet because it's harder, but I used this on carpet right when I got it and it worked fine. You might just have to turn it a little harder. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that burns. I've noticed it's, it's harder if you point your toes like there's two different ways, ways you can stretch, point, pointing your toes or just by opening them, kind of opening up your hips a little more this way as opposed to this way. I like holding onto the wheel to pull myself forward to stretch my hips even more. You can even hold onto the sides right here. So I've noticed after a while, at about 10 or 15 seconds, I can push it a little bit further each time. Mm. I think I'm about at my maximum. This burns really good. <laughs> what I like about this though is you can just chill here and watch Netflix or even be on your phone. Or you're getting a good passive stretch in or active if you lean forward and play with it. All right, I'm gonna release. That's the most tender part for me is when I release it. it feels funny. You can also use it to stretch, get a good stretch like this too. Hold on to this and pull, this and pull. Am I isolating your hips? Like you can hold on to this. And just hold them up for about 15 seconds. This really helps with your L sit. See my leg shaking. And then you just put it away. Overall, I think it's a really cool machine. Of course you don't need a machine to increase your flexibility or get the splits down or anything like that, but I like the extra push because stretching is not my favorite thing to do. And I just wanted to experiment with this. So this is the first day that I'm really going to use this. I'm gonna use it for about 15 minutes at a time consistently, maybe about four to five days a week. And we'll see how much it improves my flexibility and within a month because I really want to improve my handstand straddle position and my overall hip and leg flexibility so we'll see where this is at in a month if you want to get one I'll put a link in the description you can buy it on Amazon yeah all right so day one to get a better idea of how this is going to improve my flexibility let's see what my stretch on the ground looks like alone so this is my deepest, this is as wide as I can get my legs. Yeah, not that great. Not terrible, but as you can see, it's not that great. And here's my straddle handstand.
not that great, but we'll come back. We'll check on my progress. After a month, we'll see how much my struggle has improved by using this thing consistently. And I'm gonna push it hard, so. So typically I would suggest easing into it. That's really far. You're almost at a full split. <laughs>